Hi, Jay Escobar here, EscobarJ.com. This video is the ketogenic diet food list for weight loss. And last video, if you haven't seen my first video, I'm going to go ahead and post it right here. Go ahead and check that out. I'll also post the link down in the description. But last video, we talked about healthy, good keto oils. <clears throat> and uh, certain oils that you can start eating that will help you with weight loss. Today, what we're going to talk about is healthy fats. Okay, And I made a pretty big list of healthy fats. This is just kind of cracking the surface. A lot of these things are my go-to list of foods that I eat on a keto diet. High fat, moderate protein, low sugar, low carbohydrate. So let's jump right to it. Um, obviously, the first and foremost, the, the go-to, really the go-to thing for, and a lot of why the keto diet is so famous is it's really kind of popularized avocado. And avocado is a fantastic, fantastic food source. It is a keto superfood, if you will. I eat avocado pretty much on the daily um, it is one of the go-to things that I eat. I can eat avocado by itself with just a little bit of salt on it. Mm, so good. You can mix it with a whole bunch of stuff. You can make guacamole. You can put it on pretty much anything. Anything that you have, any any meals you make, you can pretty much put it on anything. I, mean, I put it on my eggs. I put it on my steak. I put it on my chicken. I put it in... I even put it in my, I make uh, zoodles, like spaghetti, but I make the noodles with zoodles, zucchini noodles instead, and I even put it on that. And uh, it's just a nice little topping. It gives you some really, really good essential fats. It's got omega-3s in it. It's got a lot of uh, very, very good monounsaturated fats um, and polyunsaturated fats as well. Just very, very good, good keto superfood. So that is one. And my other go-to that I absolutely love, this is probably, since eating keto, I used to really not like nuts very much, but since eating keto, um, there is one nut in particular that I just crave all the time, and it is extremely good for you, um, and they taste absolutely delicious, and you, a lot of times you can find them in cookies, but they're not very good in cookies because cookies have sugar in them. But they're macadamia nuts. And if you've never had macadamia nuts, I, in, <laughs> I encourage you to just try them, eat them. They are so good for you. Very high in omega-3s. The omega-3 to omega-6 ratio profile in macadamia nuts is, is perfect. It's about a 2 to 1 ratio. That's what you want. You want mainly omega-3s and uh, fewer omega-6s. But essentially, um, they taste so, so good. They're nice and buttery. Um, I get the ones at Costco. It's the, I, I'm pretty sure it's the Kirkland Signature brand. You can get them. They're like $17 for like a big bag um, at Costco. They're absolutely amazing. I can, I literally can go through a bag probably within three days if I just, just hammer them out. Two or three days probably. Um, but they're pretty expensive, so I try not to go too hard on them. I try and limit it to like a cup to two cups a day, but some days <laughs> some days I uh, kind of go to town on them because they, I love them that much. I really do. Um, I like them more than any other nut. I'm going to go through a couple of the nuts, but I, I just want to – those are kind of my two uh, high horses for my fats is avocado and macadamia nuts. Um, the next one that I like is pecans. Pecans are probably my next favorite nut. They're delicious. Um, I do love pumpkin seeds and, and sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, I absolutely love sunflower seeds. I love just chewing on them. Um, but the, a lot of the flavored sunflower seeds have a lot of like other additives and preservatives on them, like uh, maltodextrin and a bunch of other stuff that just aren't good for you. So if you're going to get sunflower seeds, just get the regular salted kind. Um, I know people don't really like those as much, but if they're actually still really good. Um, I really like sunflower seeds as well. I'll, I'll chew on those all the time. And quick tip, if you're going on a drive or you're going on like a long distance drive, like you're driving from state to state or across the country, take a bag of pumpkins, uh, sunflower seeds. They are excellent to keep you awake on the road. Um, this is kind of a tangent tip, but uh, it, it 
it's much better than caffeine. It's much better than like any really anything else. If you just take a bag of a big bag of sunflower seeds, salted kind, and make sure you get the spits. The spits kind is the best. If you get the David kind, the David brand is too salty. If you have too many of them, you, your mouth gets very very raw. You can get even canker sores on your tongue, and it really really sucks. So trust me, just get the spits. They're perfectly salted. You can pretty much eat pretty much close to an entire bag without get, having a super raw mouth. But if you're traveling long distances, it's really, really good keto snack for fats. It's good at snacking if you're in a pinch. Um, but also, it's going to help keep you awake because of the physical um, activity of chewing something while you're driving really just helps you to stay awake even if you're tired. And uh, it's better than just loading up on caffeine as well. So uh, pumpkin seeds as well is another really good one. For keto, um, got a lot of good fats in them, a lot of zinc, and a lot of other good uh, macronutrients in pumpkin seeds as well that will help you with your nutrition overall. Walnuts are also very, very good for you. Um, almonds are not as good, but they're still keto friendly. Um, Brazil nuts are fantastic. Ghee butter is perfect on keto the diet. Um, if you want to cook with ghee butter, I cook my asparagus in, in ghee butter. It makes them taste nice and buttery. Um, it's delicious, very, very high in fat. It's refined butter. If you don't know what ghee butter is, it's refined. So they take all the, all the, um, all the, um, what is it called? There's no casein protein in it. There's no, um, basically it's just a very refined form of butter. So it's just kind of like, um, MCT oil is a very refined version of coconut oil. It's kind of that same thing with ghee butter. It's very uh, highly, uh, highly um, compact and on uh, compact is not the right word. It's it's highly potent butter. If we'll put it that way, um, cheese is another good one for for um, fats on the keto diet. I will say you can get a little bloated with if you have too much cheese, and obviously if you have too much cheese, you can get constipated as well. And if you have cheese, there's a lot of a lot of times there's casein proteins and potato starches and some things that aren't as good in cheese. So try to go for um, like a grass fed, grass finished type of cheese. Or there's different like uh, Parmesan is good or mozzarella is better for you um, than like the cheddars and the, and the um, some of the other cheeses as well. Um, but you can't have cheese on the keto diet. I have cheese all the time. I love cheese very, very much. But I try to limit my cheese as much as I can. Eggs are another great source of fat. Um, Omega-3s as well. And a lot of other really good high fat profile in eggs. Obviously high protein as well. But a couple things you want to stay away from as far as fats go. Um, and this is mainly due like with nuts. Stay away from like things like peanuts, cashews, and pistachios. Um, cashews are actually not even a nut it's a legume so or it's actually a fruit peanuts are actually a legume and not considered a nut um, so they they have a much higher carb content and they have a lot more sugar in them as well same with pistachios are not as clean for you as some of the other nuts that I've mentioned also stay away from any processed uh, oils or any any um, any hydrogenated oils those are awful for you Really, really terrible for your gut and just terrible for your health overall. Stay away from like flaxseed oil, uh, soybean oil, some of those, you know, obviously vegetable oil is also a very, very bad one. I've, I mentioned those in my first video, but this is a, just a list of other fatty foods that are very, very healthy for you. These are the good fats that we're talking about. Um, avocado, macadamia nuts, pecans, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, almonds, sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, ghee butter, cheese, eggs. And make sure you're staying away from peanuts, cashews, pistachios, and really um, most other nuts besides the ones that I've named. Um, there are a few other rare ones that are more expensive that you can buy that are keto friendly. But the ones that I've named for you, the ones that I've just given you here, are really the go-to ones that you want to go to and consume on a regular basis. They will really help uh, with weight loss. Obviously, you want to anything in excess is going to be not good for you so if you're like slamming the macadamia nuts like I sometimes do um, I don't sometimes it depends some days I'm just craving them um, I, I do I am disciplined though so but even if you're eating like tons of macadamia nuts eventually like there's gonna be carbs in those and eventually you're gonna if you have too many of them 
it can kick you out of ketosis if you have too many carbs. That's the whole point. You want to keep it below 30 to 50 grams a day of carbohydrates on the keto diet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the information that you received. If you did enjoy the information and you'd like to leave a, a donation, you can leave any amount of money that you feel is worth the value of the information given. Uh, it can be a one spot, a five spot, throw me 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it is you feel is worth the value of the information of this video or any of my other videos. Also, if you're having a tough time with your nutrition, your, your exercise regimen, or you're going through a tough time in life, uh, you can also get coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching on my website, escobarj.com. And at the very least, share this with your friends and family on any social media platform site. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and other than that, I hope you're always learning, always growing, and always pushing forward. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.